What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder. I'm your host, Warren Thompson, and some unexpected news has recently come to light. As it turns out, Avengers the Kang Dynasty might not all be what exactly you expect it to be. Now, we've talked a little bit on the channel about what we expect it to be, but now that the writer for Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, and the Kang Dynasty, Jeff Loveness, has spoken up about what to expect, it kind of changes our view of what we are going to be getting in the Kang Dynasty. Also, there has been some news that we are going to be getting some major phase five and phase six delays. Now, we were expecting some delays before we've talked about it a few times however we really weren't expecting them to the extent that might actually happen now as always like i've said with delays this is both good and bad the fact that things are getting delayed sucks but the reason that they're getting delayed is good they are trying to improve and make things better so a lot to dive into in today's video and if you love marvel and you like to stay up to date with everything in the mcu be sure to subscribe to the channel now, we'll start with the delays because I know a lot of people get really concerned about this. The newest report about these delays is coming from Alex P over at thecosmiccircus.com, and they've been pretty accurate with their scoops lately. And the first thing that Alex tweeted was, Marvel Studios is taking the term spring cleaning very seriously, huh? And posted a picture of the entire Phase 5 slate with everything kind of Windexed out, removed, except for Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, of course, because we already have that in theaters right now, and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, the next Marvel Studios movie that is set to hit theaters. So with this tweet, we already started to assume that yes, there were indeed going to be some delays, maybe even some shuffling of certain projects. Now, assuming what some people mean online is sometimes kind of tricky, however, there is a follow-up tweet. Somebody asked why, what got pushed now, in which Alex replied, the character limit doesn't let me list it all. It is easier for me to say what won't get pushed. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. So this heavily implies, if this report is true, that the entire Phase 5 slate, except for what we've gotten so far, Quantumania, and what we're about to get, Guardians 3, is going to be pushed back. We are going to be getting some delays. And Marvel Studios' president, Kevin Feige, kind of already confirmed this before. He didn't directly tell us that there were going to be some delays. However, he did say this. I do think one of the powerful aspects of being at Marvel Studios is having these films and shows hit the zeitgeist. It is harder to hit the zeitgeist when there's so much product out there and so much content, as they say, which is a word I hate. But we want Marvel Studios and the MCU projects to really stand out and stand above. So people will see that as we get further into phase five and six, the pace at which we're putting out Disney Plus shows will change so they can each get a chance to shine. So Kevin Feige already confirmed it right there. In phase five and phase six, the pace at which they're putting out shows is going to change. And to top it all off, when he was asked whether this change of pace means spacing out the releases of shows or releasing fewer shows a year, Kevin Feige said both, I think. So now the fact that we are getting reports that phase five is kind of going to be completely changed as far as scheduling is concerned, it doesn't come as that big of a surprise. But it also doesn't come as extremely bad news because as Kevin Feige said here, the focus here in shifting things around is to make their projects really stand out and stand above. So they are focusing on quality. Now, hopefully these changes mean that they're just going to get pushed back a little bit and not nothing too drastic. We already kind of expected and there's been a rumor going around that Loki and Secret Invasion are going to be the only two Disney Plus Marvel shows that we are going to be getting this year. Hopefully that still stands Stands true because both of these shows are going to be very important for the future of the MCU. Since Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is the last movie in the trilogy and essentially James Gunn's goodbye and some of the other Guardians goodbye as well, we're assuming that this movie is kind of going to stand alone and not have that big of a connection, if any, with the rest of the projects that are happening. Of course, since it's in the MCU, it'll tie in one way or another. However, I think the film is the final goodbye for the Guardians and stands alone, which is why I think the schedule release for it has not changed. That and it is the next upcoming Marvel film. Now, if Phase 5 is getting delayed, unfortunately, Phase 6 is going to get delayed as well. But again, just trying to look at the bright side here, hopefully that means that Marvel Studios is going to be releasing better projects when they do release them. It is also very important to note that Alex from the Cosmic Circus did say that nothing is getting canceled, simply delayed. 
And of course, if we hear anything about this, we'll be sure to do an update video. But going on into the Kang Dynasty, like I mentioned, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania writer Jeff Loveness is also going to be writing the Kang Dynasty. And right now he's doing a lot of interviews about Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, but of course people are taking this opportunity to also ask him about Kang Dynasty. And he may just be being secretive, but if he's not, he dropped an unfortunate bomb on us. When asked about what it's like writing the next Avengers movie, this is what he said. Yeah, it's definitely a tricky thing, but much like when I took on this Ant-Man job, I can't really focus on that outside stuff. He said speaking about other movies that are involved in the MCU. He continued to say, I have just got to lay down the bones of a good story, hopefully, and find the characters that I want to tell it. And then it becomes a game of ping pong with other people. Like whoever comes on and does Fantastic Four or Blade, I'm probably not even using those characters, you know, but it all informs itself. And so you just keep an open ear if someone says, hey, if Blade wants to jump in, go for it, man. But it's up to me to focus on my movie and, you know, work with Michael Waldron a little bit about his thing. And Michael Waldron, of course, is writing Secret Wars. And I happen to know that Michael Waldron and Jeff Loveness are good friends. I talked to Michael Waldron after Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. I asked him if he knew a lot about what the movie was going to be about because he didn't write it, but he said yes because he was really tight with Jeff. So hopefully the two of them will work really well together. But going back to the unfortunate statement that Jeff Loveness said, he said he's probably not going to be using the Fantastic Four in the Kang Dynasty. Now we know the Fantastic Four movie comes out before the Kang Dynasty, so we all kind of expected them to be in it. However, the Kang Dynasty really is going to be an Avengers film. It's not really going to involve the multiverse that much. That is, they're not really going to leave the main MCU universe. And it's most likely going to be just the new Avengers team fighting one variant or maybe a couple of Kang in their universe, protecting their specific Earth and universe. Basically from what we've heard so far is that Avengers Avengers the King Dynasty is still going to be kind of grounded. Then the movies in between the King Dynasty and Secret Wars are going to start to explore the multiverse and then of course Secret Wars is going to primarily take place from what we've heard in the multiverse, in different universes, in different worlds, seeing multiple different heroes and their variants, which is going to be really, really cool. But that's when we can assume the Fantastic Four gets involved in between the Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars. In fact, I'm sure Mr. Fantastic, the world's smartest man alive, Reed Richards, is going to play a major role in helping all of the heroes be able to travel through different multiverses. His technology, along with America Chavez's powers, are probably going to be how the Avengers actually are able to multiverse travel. But as of right now, don't expect the Fantastic Four to show up in the Kang Dynasty. Now, of course, he could just be saying this to mislead us, so there are no spoilers. But luckily for us, we do get the Fantastic Four movie before the Kang Dynasty, so maybe then we'll get a little bit more of clarity of how Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars are going to play out. But hey, let me know what you think about all of this news in the comments down below about the delays and about the Fantastic Four probably not appearing in the Kang Dynasty. Leave all your thoughts and theories in the comments down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe so you can stay up to date on all the latest MCU news. You can also follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.